Mastrangelo, Ben Liffin, and myself, Susan Mosler. Um, welcome. Uh, do we have a motion to accept the previous minutes? I'd like to make a motion. A uh, second. Okay. Let's uh, vote on it. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Vote passed. Minute minutes are accepted. Uh, we're going to get right to the report from the health inspector so that Ben can get on his way home. Sure. Thank you. Uh, all right. So just a few updates. Um, so I know you had sent over uh, a few reports that were had high counts for frozen desserts. I won't say which one it was, but there was a, one that was well over the legal limit. Yes. I have contacted that establishment, and they have voluntarily agreed not to continue to sell to the public. So I, what I told them was um, uh, I would want them to uh, find somebody to come in and identify the source of the high counts. Once they do that, then they'd let me know, and I'm gonna come by and take a look. Basically, tell me what you did, and how you corrected it. And even at that point, depending on what the report is or what they're gonna do, I might ask for them to do two clean yes. uh, reports before they can sell to the public. There, again, there right? are some chronic. Yeah. Yeah, that one has been around for a while. I look at them be usually yeah, before, before I send them yeah. to you. And I called them the last week, and I had asked to speak to the manager. I never got a call back. So mm -hmm. this one. Great. But I got somebody, and it's it's Good. it's not going out anymore. Okay. Um, then the next thing is uh, pool certification. We spoke about it before. Pool a certified pool operator. Mm -hmm. I've reached out to a couple. It looks like a couple trainers. It looks like it's about three fifty to four uh, to get it. So uh, I'm gonna uh, sign up for it. I mm -hmm. just want to let you know that's what the cost would yeah. be for, for me to do. It. It's not gonna take like this soil evaluator one. It's not right. gonna take that long. No, it's gonna it's, be like yeah. Good. a few days. That type of thing max. Um, and then, uh, so the next thing is soil, soil evaluator uh, training, license for it. So as you know, I passed the uh, that classroom portion, but I'm doing the on-sites. Last on-site training will be next week, and then um, I will get the test after I come back from vacation. Assuming I pass the test, then I will have that certification so that we'll be all set. So hopefully I, I get that done. If I don't pass the test, I don't get to try again. Like their next one is like next year. So. Yeah, it's similar to um, like the septic kind of. Sink or swim, man. Yep. Uh, so let's hope I sink. All right, swim. No, don't, You're don't gonna sink. swim. You have floaties uh, on. Uh, hopefully, that. I'm hoping. Um, the next thing is there was an intern that reached out to us. I reached back out to the intern because we could use a little bit of help. One of the things would be uh, just an initial look at uh, some of the permits that are coming in for events, just to like have them do a checklist, that little stuff like that. But um, the person didn't get back to me. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't oh, know. They reached out to us. Maybe somebody else reached Try back out to them. Maybe. They might have a whole bunch of towns. They might have emailed yeah. first one to email them I know back. If Alex, to, I wonder if they, Alex has an intern. I don't know if it was the same person. Yeah. I mean, also, uh, like, if you reached out to UMass. I haven't and their myself health, reached out. But, it's not a bad idea. They might partner <clears throat> with local towns, that type of thing. Um, yeah. All right, the next thing is the um, establishment that came in. Uh, the, at our last meeting that I attended, uh, I went out to them and gave them another inspection, and they did pass their reinspection. They did everything that they needed wow. to do. Yeah, even the um, even the walk-in wow. cooler that would have been a that, that was probably it's fabulous. been resolved. So. That is that is a strong one. I, I'm I'm super happy that they did that. So uh, because we all want to focus on other things, we don't want to keep focusing yeah. on that one. Um, and then the last thing is, Susan, I reached out to you about. Um, trying to adopt maybe some new regs related to wells who are around Hadley. Uh, and uh, I'm there's a training that's taking place. It's when I'm on vacation, but it's an online one, so I'll just do it. And then after that, once I get a little bit of that training, it's free. You don't have to, it's so not pay anything. Um, then I'll take whatever info I have from that, and I'll let you know what things they suggested and bring op op options to the board, and you guys can decide what you want to do on that. How does that work? Are we empowered to make a policy? To, to make a, a bylaw for our department? Yeah. I mean, that people who have wells would have to follow? Yep. So okay. it would be for, right, personal, private wells. Okay. Um, we would, with any bylaw, we would have to have an open hearing. 
Okay. Um, yeah. You know, so it would be a process, but it's definitely doable because right. so we've done other things before. before. You have the time, write something up, and then we'll, we'll yeah. move forward with it. The good thing on the wells part is the state has some st yes. sample ones. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I would this training, I'm going to try to figure out like what ones would be most applicable to Hadley, yeah. and then just have that. And then you guys could decide if it works for you. I, I don't have to write it. You don't have to write right. it. Lawyers already looked That's at great. it. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully, it would Excellent. be good. So basically, you're saying you're looking at. Um, You'll be looking at the bylaws that are out there regarding wells. Yeah, so I'm going to be looking at, there's guidance documents from state, and some of them, state has actually said, we recommend boards of health to pass this as as code or law or bylaws in their, in their loc locality. We don't have any of those right now. And okay. so at this training that I'm going to take, I'm going to try to see what they're suggesting, maybe talk to the instructor a little bit, and, uh, and based on their... You know, uh, feedback. Then sure. I might be bringing some or more than yeah. one. I don't know to really you guys great. to consider. I wouldn't write it again. I'd be at, be bringing what the state has mm -hmm. already approved. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Um, all right, and that's it for me as far as updates are concerned. Does anybody have any questions for me? Uh, the permit applications. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, camps. Have you been able to? So get yep. in touch with Roxanne. I did. She okay. she reached out to me. She said she's available whenever. Okay. okay. Uh, the application. I spoke to the summer camp uh, uh, person, the school that's going to be doing it. She knows she needs to get me in the application, but until I get the application, I can't forward it over Is that, to the nurse. Uh, it's hard to yeah. yeah, they're, I can, they're I, pretty. I good. go out there. Thank goodness you're here. Yeah. I was doing yeah. it. They're terrific. Yeah. They're yeah. Really, I just want you to know they know what they're doing. When I went out there, everything was in order. Mm -hmm. So she called me like two months ago. So she's yeah. so on the ball. Yeah. I mean, I don't expect that we. Yeah, they crazy. do it every year. They're they're very okay. Yeah. And so, but and they're wonderful to work with. Yeah. 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 So the but but as far as that's once they get the, it to me, I'll okay. forward it to the uh, new nurse. What's her name again? Roxanne. 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 Yeah. Um, Roxanne. I should Just, remember. That you know, should make, make it easy. Make right? sure you you know. Oh, Haley yeah. is Roxanne here today? What? I'm sorry, what? Was Roxanne here today? No. Where is oh, she? Maybe she in forgot. In the nurse's office, or she might be gone. She I went into the nurse's office. Okay. So I guess she left at 7. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll work with her on it, and she'll do the medical portion and you know okay. anything related to, to that yeah. health. And then I'll, I'll be doing code. Okay, just you know, hold her hand and walk her you know, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I, so I mean, I'm, I'm fairly... Because she's new at it also. Yep, and, okay. and, and I, I did it over in my last place, but I didn't do it too, do okay. it too much, so I gotta, mm -hmm. I gotta like, look, at, look into it a little bit myself. Okay. Um, any other questions? So the good thing is, is that uh, Roxanne, now I've been sending emails to her at the nurse at Hadley mm -hmm. Met, and she didn't wasn't using it. Mm. So she's now using it. So wonderful. We can get in touch with her through that. Um, email. I actually do have a question about. Um, did you meet with the event organizers regarding Which Margarita Madness, or is there anything we need an update on that? Or well, that, you well, that, that, that event about it? that event happened last week. That event happened. <coughs> you're right. It did. No. And then we have another one coming up on next I think week. I think they're on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. So. <coughs> we, yeah. Well, we, we have a wanna, whole list, but go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so so Peter and I have been working together to try to put together like a system, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he grabbed a it, calendar. It's called permits or us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to do it that we have inboxes for each other now. We got a calendar to keep each other, each other up to date. And, and just today we went over the event organizer. I had asked him to give me all of, our, all of his um, approved, his approved vendors. So yep. vendors he said were good for him. Uh, and then, uh, uh, so I had that list and Peter and I, uh, Peter looked at it from his perspective. You know, did they give us a check, so on and so forth. Yeah. Did he issue a permit? And I did mine. And I, I sent that feedback out to the town and also the event organizer mm -hmm. so for today so uh, the deadline on that though is going to be we have a soft deadline of 30 days but you know it allows us a little right. wiggle room the hard deadline on that is going to be this tomorrow mm -hmm. and and the list went out with the, these are the people that haven't given us what we need they have until tomorrow yeah so um and but most of them were already approved or they're like this close they need okay. to get an extra document to us or something so that's great, great. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm happy we got that done. The only thing that could be a bit of an issue is Spring Fest is like the next week. Yeah. We don't have many applications for that. And um, yeah, and if this one, as you know, it's a big event. Mm -hmm. um, and it's new to Hadley. Don't know how it's going to go. Um, 
and, and Spring Fest is right after it. So yeah. there could be some static on that. Spring so, Fest, from what I remember, <clears throat> is a not as like food okay. vendor heavy. Got it. So then that would make sense that we don't have so many. Yeah. So, you know, so let me throw in my two cents. So again, the, the, the Grass is Greener event is next Friday and Saturday. Correct. So the 21st and 22nd, okay. So, um, obviously, we're, I guess you and the fire department will be inspecting yeah. food trucks and so on and so yeah. forth. So you probably have like a dozen or so food trucks, maybe more. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, but the, the challenge has been obviously collecting all the mm -hmm. certifications, uh, the training documents, so on and so forth, make sure that they actually send us a check and, and, and whatnot. Um, so that's next weekend. The following weekend, the 29th, is again the Spring Fest. Um, again, same venue. I think we've received two, maybe three applications yeah, at the really most at this yeah. point for, for food. Then June 3rd is the Asparagus Fest on the Town Common. Um, that we and, usually get. And Ben shared with me today that the organizer, that is the the person that does the organizing, she's no longer with the organization. Okay, so it's a so, new so, organizer? So there's somebody else. It was her former boss. So uh, we might have a different experience then. Yeah, new, new, it, the boss might have been aware of what she was doing before, but probably not in the weeds. So, yeah, there might be a different experience this time. Yeah. They, they uh, were on a, a Tuesday call um, that we always have with the town, and um, her boss, she seemed very knowledgeable, professional. I don't think it's going to be like, it wasn't like, what's this? I don't know what I'm doing here. It, it, it's just more, what does Hadley do? Yeah. Because she had been, she's done things like this before. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be horrible, but it is going to be a little different because this mm -hmm. person hasn't done that specific event previously. Mm -hmm. Just letting you guys know. Thank you. I don't think it'll be crazy. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, no hey, problem. Can I just Thank say, you. pause here for a second. I am in board of health heaven. <laughs> isn't, it, <laughs> isn't it magical? I just, all my dreams have come true. Yeah. Yeah, but wait, you, you. You, you haven't seen my list. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank Speaking you. Speaking to you. Well, uh, that, it's welcome. hard work, and you just get it done in a professional mm -hmm. manner, and it, it couldn't be any better. Yeah. It, uh, Thank you. Well, we're trying. It's definitely there's there's things that I know myself that I could do uh, uh, better that you know that. But it's, it's, but, but it's we're working happening. on it. But it's, it's a process. It's happening. So that, yeah, and it's all it, mm -hmm. it, this. A year ago, things weren't like this. So, 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 I, don't, so I don't even want to think about for, it. Big deal. Yeah. For me, it feels really good being able to have dedicated people to give the attention to yeah, it's, the people who come for food and other services in town and it's it just feels really great thank so, you thank you yeah no no th and, you know as, as i've mentioned previously i'll say it again is uh, it's been fun it's been fun you know i uh learning new things mm -hmm. and having the support of you guys and uh just um you know even co-workers I, everything I, I i really enjoy work enjoy working with peter um, so I can only speak for myself, but but um, uh, I've I, I've uh, I, I do it all again in a heartbeat, and, and I'm, I'm sure we're gonna do more things this for the rest of the year that that you know will mm -hmm. advance us further. Um, and just being collaborative has been a yeah, yeah. pleasant experience. Well, so thank you for, we'll for doing that with me. Exceeding all of our expectations. Yeah. Thank well, you. Thank it's you. so yeah. nice finally having someone to be able vacation? to sit at the table for those weekly meetings and the everything. End of this month. So. Oh, all right, not for a little while. We'll have yeah, a, yeah. Well, it's here before if you know I don't it. See you, have, a, have a wonderful trip. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. I uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be at a board of health before I leave because it's okay. going to be. Right. I don't think it'll line up, but um, I'm available too. If something happens in Hadley where it's it's an emergency and yep. you just want some feedback or something like that, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and oh, the last thing I'll say before I go, I won't go into detail, but uh, Dragon, I, uh, I that thing I reached out to you about. I'm speaking to the person that had me reach out to you about that and I think everything should be okay. Okay. All right. So I uh, no, there shouldn't be any, any uh, issues on that. And, yeah. Uh, but if there is, I'll reach out. I was going to email after this meeting yeah, because yeah. it should be a non issue. Yeah, it's nothing crazy, but, but yeah. yeah, I figured you should know. Okay. I got those questions. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you guys. You. Thank, you. thank you. See you. See you next week. See ya. Drive safe. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,
permit application questions concerns YMC permit applications for April. Now we don't I think we're all set. You yeah. approve those, so yeah. we don't okay. I think and, everything yeah. on that has just been addressed. Okay. Deferment yeah. applications update. Can, can we can we oh, step sorry. backwards? Sure. So uh, the last uh, sentence or the last phrase, uh, food establishments who have not submitted so permit applications. I, yeah, I definitely want to have a discussion about that. So um, I won't I won't name names. Okay. No, this is um, this is. The, these are the food establishments. Food establishments who, who, that are who have not renewed. We talked about it last time. Right. They right. have not renewed their okay. permits. Okay. We still have we still have a handful. What's that? We still have a handful of establishments who have not um, How many? Complied. Like five, six, something I, like that? I'd say somewhere between six and nine. I, I say okay. that because there are uh, two or three um, good-sized establishments mm -hmm. that are in the process of um, doing their applications, sending a check. Um, there's there. So let's say there's six um, that have been. Um, I'm choosing my words carefully. You are trying to very like, a little bit evasive. Let's just put it that way. Um, I think they're going to need a visit. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two. We also have um, on our uh, rate sheet, if you will, on the website uh, what the penalty is if you're late in renewing. Right. There's a 30-day penalty Correct. and a 60-day penalty. Well, of course, we're now four months. Yeah, you know, we're, suggest, we're almost at four how months. How do you suggest we move forward? Um, I think what should happen is that each of these um, establishments, and I'll share with you who they are okay. um, next week once I know who is actually right, going so to send. So, what do you think us. we should do? I, I, I thought about it. Ben and I talked about it um, uh, briefly, but I think, um, and I don't think you're going to like this idea. I think each one of you should visit two mm -hmm. of the six. Right. I'll, let I'll, them, let I'll, them know. I'll do four. Emma can do two. Margaret's. Yeah, Margaret's, yeah. I mean, and, and, and whatever. Margaret's and, on and, the and, take it easy. And, and, and I and, I'm, and I suggest that only from the viewpoint that um, I don't have the muscle. I'm not an elected official. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm, ben, Ben is buried. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm He's okay. Buried. I'm okay what? to do that. You'll, so you give me a little dialogue. Yeah, I feel like we should probably give a letter too. They, they've received but, letters, but but in person, like when oh, we're oh, there. Oh yeah. I think it gives yeah. some extra. Um, I, you know, meaning yeah, to the visit. Yeah, I think it's it's basically you have it renewed. Here's the here's the permit application, detailing right. the application. Oh, by the way, here's a written letter saying, yeah, here's what yeah. you owe us. You this know, is it's the whatever thousand dollars plus. Right. This is the adjusted the rate. Mm -hmm. All right. So can if you get that ready, I can come pick it up and I'll go to four places. And then I guess Good. I'm wondering. In terms of another follow-up for that, um, not that I, I like coming off harsh or anything, but I I think I'm trying to frame it as trying to be more supportive, right? Because I think with the other establishment that had to do quite a number of repairs, adjustments to pass inspection, they responded very well to having clear kind of cut boundaries. I'm wondering if we might want to set a deadline for their permits a to be absolutely. submitted or and if they don't we don't receive it and approve it by a certain number of time they're right. going to have to cease operations right. because they have they have not so if, you know what i mean that's just what i'm wondering right because they have not applied mm -hmm. for the renewal because so they weren't sure if they were going to make so it or not so we go right. out the first week of may mm -hmm. and you want to give them 14 days yeah, I think that sounds good. What do you think, Margaret? I, I actually think it's a good idea. I think I think it's easier to respond when there's a deadline. Um, I think people appreciate that. I think sometimes people just get busy and yeah. they get shoved off and unintentionally so. And um, and I, I think, Peter, that should be on the application so they know in writing that they have 14 days. From well, when we visit them. I think it'll be on the letter. 
that we'll yeah. give them. Can you help with yeah, the Yeah, of course, letter? I'd love so, to. So, so again, just so that you guys understand, they've already received yeah. two letters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. going, yeah, we're yeah. going to tell them they have until this date, and we're going Good. to hand it to them in writing. Yeah. It's sort of like a homework assignment, you know, some you people just three three. do respond sure. better. Okay. The dead giving one. myself homework. Okay. Um. So we're saying a dead, uh, the deadline will be two weeks after receipt of the. What's letter. what's the so that let's say the third. What's the third week? The third Friday in May. Okay, it is. I don't have my calendar. Yeah, uh, it is the nineteenth. Twelfth, nineteenth. All right, so put May nineteenth as the deadline. And we'll go the first week of May, so they'll have more than yeah. two weeks. And do you want to use the maximum penalty or the more lenient penalty? Because I'm thinking that should be in the letter. Mm -hmm. My, it's hard because we don't want to come off. I'm okay rough, with it. I'm but okay at the same it. time, they've already had two letters. It's. I mean, what are what are your thoughts? Susan? I was thinking we would do the minimum this time, yep. and then next year we'll be more on top of it. Yep. And we'll those fines will approve. I think that's reasonable. Okay. All right, so, so now, again, can so, I just ask what would happen if by the deadline, then you're saying just the minimum, or do we, that and, they, and then we'll they, just determine after that I, what would happen? I think if they don't, it, I mean, in the letter, my general sense is that if they miss the deadline, it could result in cease of operations, Okay. because then they would be operating without a permit. Okay. And or, how does that happen, that process? that Ben would go out and say you're operating without a food permit and you can't okay. do for food service until you have a yeah. approved and the, permit. The, and, and again, they're already operating yeah. without okay. a permit. Right. Yeah. So okay. so if you think about it, if somebody has, it comes down with a foodborne illness, we're liable. Right. We haven't permitted them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a big risk. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but once again, I mean, this is where having the bandwidth, having Ben, having right. you, um, this is work that we've really never been able to kind of spearhead before, so that feels yeah. good. All right. All right. All right. So, so am I sending a draft to you of the letter, or to you, or yeah, all you three could, of you? You could send it to me. Okay. I mean, unless somebody else wants. I don't think we all do. All right. it, it just gets too much. Yeah, we'll make it work. It's going to be good anyway. I'm not I know. Know. What? <laughs> Okay, yeah, I just want to make sure that uh, we're, on the, we're on the same page. It, it, and I've also, you know, a couple of these, or at least one of them, uh, Jennifer and I have talked about, uh, because she also does, obviously, the licensing of the business itself. And there is one uh, establishment where the license uh, has not, my understanding, has not been renewed. Mm -hmm. But, okay. again, not really my business. All right. Yep. Okay. Appreciate it, Peter. Mm -hmm. Deferment application. Update. No new news. Okay. Yep, all set. Water okay. testing update. Oh, I need to email Jason. Thank you for that prompting. Okay. Uh, oh, the licensing of the pot shops. Mar marijuana. Yeah, so I... One second. Jason. So, I know after we had our discussion last meeting about... Um, that individual brick and mortar permit cost for the marijuana or um, establishments. And then the first year, the Board of Health had um, individual costs per um, person who was selling it uh, for the establishments. So I know I tried to do my homework and a deep dive with information that I had and records. Um, I very vividly remember having a Board of Health meeting and, and David Nixon there, um, us voting on the proposed regulations with those fees and costs. And I don't see it at all in any bylaw that's posted on the um, so, Town 360 so there's site. there's no record there's, that anything was ever... Right. So that's where, 
for me in terms of, okay. I, we, I mean, we were one of the first towns to really be implementing okay. it. So I think there's some lessons learned there. Um, and this is just my perspective, especially when thinking about what other um, Town. towns are doing and how they're not charging those extra fees. Um, yeah, I, when I, I think about also the, how we don't have the records, I, I personally feel fine with not having the I, individual I don't fees know moving why, forward. I, to me, that when I, when I heard about that, it's like, I mean, we don't charge individual fees at the liquor stores. I mean, for everybody who works in the liquor yeah, store. But my understanding, and again, I, I really don't know, but my understanding is that the cannabis industry, retail industry, is completely different. Uh, yes. Completely different. Because I... I I was I did the same thing. Right, but no, but no other towns are are charging a fee for each yeah, of the. I, I, I don't know. So I, don't know I would not. I would prefer not to. It doesn't. It doesn't feel right to me. Yeah, I never let when we were. It was like it ended up being like thousands of dollars for these businesses. There's no, you know, there's no reason for. It. I mean, I, I'm good with it. I mean, yeah. So let's, should we vote on that? I think we should vote on right. an official vote. <clears throat> um, so I, I'd like to make a motion yes. that um, after review of the previous history with the <clears throat> Board of Health marijuana regulations that we waive individual um, sellers permit fees um, that was historically done on year one through Board of the Hadley Board of Health. Okay. okay I second, second it. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. Thank you for doing that, Emma. That was not good. Not so easy. It did take we, some digging yeah. and some we reaching out, but it was everything. good. Yeah. Thank you. And it made me think very fondly of um, my previous tenure on the Board of Health and the old office and everything like that. So I remember that meeting I went to. Four of us in that little room. In that little room. <laughs> like sardines listening to the voicemails yep uh, okay I do I do go through the email twice a day almost every day it was a holiday this week so I missed a half of one day but I do go through twice a day and I forward voicemails to whoever is appropriate so that system has been working yeah um, uh, I am admittedly uh slow recently in terms of responding to Sorry. voicemails because of the permitting. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, I think that's all Ben and I have done mm -hmm. the last four, three yeah, or four yeah, days. Yeah, no, that's as long as you're nuts. getting them on now. Yeah, I'm oh, no, I'm getting, getting. yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, and uh, so, I mean, there's some good voicemails that are out there, some emails that need to be worked on, but what, they're, they're waiting until next week. What does our voicemail say now when you call and get the voicemail? Um... I don't recall, but I want to change it to reflect that um, the, we have core office hours. Mm -hmm. Right, and the other thing is, you know, like a lot of them, people say, you know, um, you know, I called last night, nobody's called me back. I mean, I think right. we should let them know that. Yeah, you it, know, it's not going to be twenty-four hour service. They, right. It's just not. Just so people understand. Again, I'm not there every day. Number right. One, that, yeah. So nor, nor has been. think of some language and change yeah. the change yeah. the voicemail. Yeah, I've got it on my list to ask Jennifer how to okay. how to do that. I know it was on there. That it's not staff, but somehow yeah. say it again. Yeah. 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 I'm like, give me a, you know, I, I, yeah. All right, does anybody else have any other uh, business? Yeah, I've got a list. What's that? I have a list. Oh, go ahead, Peter. All right, so um, I sent you guys an email, I don't know, let's say two or three weeks ago with regards to uh, our schedule of application fees with regards to food trucks. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the way our fee schedule reads, there's some ambiguity in terms of um, a couple of the rates that are on there. So, for example, we say a food truck application fee is $200. What does that mean? Does that mean for an entire season? Does that mean for one event? Does it mean for so, two events? Mm. So... And I bring this up because 
again, if you watch the newspapers, listen to Ben, there's been some discussion mm -hmm. about seasonal mm -hmm. food trucks, which apparently we we were not supposed to do, but now I guess we're now going to be doing them per the select board last week. Um, so you need. So to, we should set a fee for a one year permit. That, I, and that's then what the have a fee for. I, a, I, I don't know. And then have a fee for a temporary one day permit. So right, historically it's been the one day permit, so, and then the other is the seasonal. Okay, so the one day permit, um, the way this, the way the fee schedule reads, a uh, food truck is two hundred dollars. So if we have an event like we a have, one day permit is two hundred bucks. No, it, it no, just says food okay. truck, right. two hundred dollars. So, if that is for one day, no, no, that's for a year. Okay, because that's not what it says. Okay, and okay. that caused all kinds of grief. Sure. Right. So yeah. we can clarify that. What is our what is our fee for a one day permit? Twenty five. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're, 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 it, it's fifty. It's fifth. now oh, fifty. Oh, yeah. So so there's something on our fee schedule that says special one day. slash one day event. Mm -hmm. Fifty dollars. Okay. Yes. But further up, it says food truck, two hundred dollars. Okay. So yes. okay. Somehow straighten that out so it's two hundred dollars. And when you, well, where wherever it says that fee for a yearly permit, you have to put in language that just because you get a permit from the board of health, you still have, have to, to go. go through I did that for, online. Um, yeah. That 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 um, that you're only, that they were only approved for that um, one location. Sorry, I'm interrupting. No, that's okay. The, that they were only approved for the licensing for that event. Mm -hmm. Any other permits and licensing um, that they would need to seek still had to be done. You know, so this was it was very. I, I, I worded it. I, okay. I don't so as long as that's clear, where it says the permit. Yeah. Let me, let me let me pull it up. Like, to, like they're approved from. They would be approved from us. Right. seasonally right to have that annual food truck but permit by need, each um, location but they need needs, approval from, from what i wrote was please note that one day food yeah. applications must be completed in payment resale okay that was the four weeks um, um jeepers where is it i'm wearing off on you that's what happens to me yeah, yeah go on electronic my God, I spent all that time putting it on there. I hope I, I wonder if I need to save it. Uh, let, me, let me go to the link and see if it's on the link. But I actually thought I had it on the food permit mm -hmm. page. Um, let me see if it's on a point. No, because now it's connecting me to anyway, the online. Anyway, can, can you... I'll do, have to yeah, do put, that. Put some language there so it's very clear that if you get a permit from the Board of Health, who is it, the planning board or the mm -hmm. zoning, that you still have to go to other, the planning it's board, planning. list Absolutely. whatever they have to do yeah. to get... So, so again, the whole food truck issue, my understanding, is that it's going to be discussed at the town meeting. Right, sure. Okay. Um, but until, like, last week, my understanding is that you could not get a seasonal food truck permit. So... I mean, which which was news to me because again, I didn't, I didn't know that. Well, and that's not that's never been the case with us as Board of Health. So, because um, right. we can permit a food truck as a individual food kind of mobile establishment, right? So from us, we can grant them a food permit. Right, like the, but in terms of planning with the locations, right, that's not us. Like the falafel truck, if he's coming to ten events this summer, he's better off to get a yearly permit. So that's fine. I, I know what you're saying, but yeah, this it, is this is fine. Yeah, because yeah, exactly. as long that's as we put on there that we are yeah. not the the fine. So you know. so actually, it is here, but it was oh. under uh, permit applications and now online on the sidebar, and it said. Okay. Please note that the town may require other permits slash licenses. It is up to the vendor to ensure that all other town regulations and requirements are met. Oh, Perfect. That's put great. that right up with the seasonal. And I'll, so I'll put that on the front page when yep. you come to yes. our landing page as right. well. So, so that I'm clear. Yeah. 
um, because again, we, we need to put this on, on our whatever rate sheet, if you will. What we're saying, or what you guys are saying, is that somebody can apply for a seasonal food truck. Yes. For two hundred dollars. If somebody is doing a one-day event with a food truck, that's the fifty dollars. Yes, correct. If they're doing a two-day event, they could get the seasonal or or two days, right? So okay. this is where, like, it depending on it, it really affected more when we had the flea market, um, when we had vendors coming in every week. Uh, to behoove people to get those seasonal permits because um, a lot now it's a lot of single day events um, so to get bang for your buck you have to be in town whether it's asparagus festival or the young men's club sponsored events right. or okay the farmer's market you know like those kind of things but yeah right. how times change well, and again, I only bring it up because, again, the rate sheet does not reflect that, number yep. one. And we got hammered this week, or the last two weeks. And secondly, <clears throat> again, Ben and I have been told, more so Ben than me, that we don't do so, seasonal. This is where Until I... Until yeah. recently, like last week, somebody made that decision. And again, it's going, apparently it's going to town meeting in three weeks. So this is where there's, but I don't there's know the details. yeah, and that's where it's challenging because I think there's different parts of the government, right? Um, and different specialties by each board. So we, I think as a board of health, like other establishments, feel confident that we can approve vendors food service for a season, whether they're in a brick and mortar location or a food truck um, and then if the town decides based off of the presentation at town whatever um, then that's something different but I think right. well, at least we're not approving yeah, somebody yeah. park a food truck somewhere and they stay there all right that's, that's not, not our what we're business approving. yeah that's where okay. our part of it well, is out of that, it but that's but see that's one of the issues so again if you've been following what's going on with yep. um I can't remember the name of the place. It doesn't. But, uh, but in any event, um, there's a food truck that is apparently going to be parked at this venue. Yes, I would but understand. Three, yeah. three days a week, mm -hmm. all summer. But right. for me, that's up to right. the that's planning like, board or whatever us. separate board to be involved in. Right. That's not necessarily that's a board of us. health issue. No, and no, that's no, where I, I, that. I want to be able to separate that a little bit. And also yeah. right. have you and um, ben. ben feel not protected, but supported by us in terms of right. kind of the messaging from yeah, a board I of mean, health standpoint. It, it, it really needs to be, again, clear on the right sheet, number yep. one. Number two, it, it, again, the town government, to your point, I think everybody kind of needs to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. okay. Select board, you guys, mm -hmm. and planning board. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it, again, the last two weeks, it's been all over the place. And what happened is that the food establishments were asking us. That's it. I don't know. Yeah. Go by the it's rate sheet. And I think, I know Margaret's working on the, going to work on the website to improve that language. So I did. did I, I just I just put it right up on the <laughs> on our landing page that know that um, the town may require other permits and licenses, sure. blah, blah, blah. So I did that. Um, I think if, if, if I were to try to write something about, you know, Route 9, which I think we to, that gets way too cumbersome and, and just opens the door for it's a lot also, more. It's also, that's not ours. And it's not ours. So, so, so basically what we're yeah. saying is that we are permitting the food truck. We're, 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 pay, we're saying this is safe. Yeah, that's all. From, from not, a food perspective, this yeah, is we're safe. We're not saying where you can go, how long you can stay there. Yeah. Right. Not our not our right. Well, but, but again, on, on our permit fees, we, yeah. we need to have on there that the two hundred dollars yep. is for the season, which is what I think Margaret was. Yeah. So be the permit on. fees. Um, yeah, I think what I couldn't find on this and this and and, and you remember the um, the laptop that the old PC we didn't have the cord for it and I um, we needed the cord. 
uh, the power cord. Yeah, Ben, the, ben I think, yeah, ended up Ben has that. it. Right. Um, I think there's a document on it that has the that, permit fees, because I don't have that I, well, raw no. doc, rock document, so I, I can't adjust any of the prices yeah. without... Before I gave it you the laptop, they were all in the right in so their shared drive for so, the Board of Health. So would that be here then? Well, like it's on, not on one drive. Well, yeah. Well, but the, yeah. the rates are on are on the web page. Yes, but it's a PDF file, and I can't. Um, I can't. I might be able to whip something up as a uh, Word document to send to you. I mean, I, I could do that, but if we had the raw document, then all I have to do, so what I would need is um, Ben just to forward that to me. Mm. Okay, so on his laptop. Uh, it's on his laptop. There is a PDF with. With a permit fees. With a permit fees. It, it was on, you know how um, on the internal. I'll double check. Town <laughs> hall um, computer system, there's a health department folder. There's lots of there was lots of things that I saved in that health department folder for successorship planning. Are you talking about the computer in the board of health office? Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry. Well, what what's on there? I, I thought you were talking about the laptop. Well, but the you laptop and the yeah, I, I it's it's a PDF. that regardless, it was on the town hall network for the server. So I saved things to the server file for the health department. You know what? I'm going to see if I can convert it to a word. All right. What else is on that list yeah. of yours, Peter? This is good um, content. So yesterday um, I sat through the compensation and succession plan mm. Zoom. Um, basically, all of the uh, employees that work in the town hall were either on the Zoom, or uh, if they're away, they're, they would get a recording of the Zoom meeting yesterday. The meeting yesterday was nothing more than orientation by the outside consultant that the town has engaged to look at um, compensation, job descriptions, mm -hmm. and succession planning for town employees. Mm -hmm. So I was on, Ben was, again, Ben was away uh, doing a soil evaluation in the field. Um, I don't think Roxanne was on, um, but they recorded it. Jen recorded it, and it will uh, be made available to those that weren't available um, for the Zoom meeting yesterday. From there, uh, each town employee has to fill out a survey mm -hmm. and send it back to Jen Travada, who will then get it to the consultant, detailing... Uh, what we do, how often we do it, and so on and so forth, De degree of difficulty, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. So what will happen is that the consultants, along with Jen and presumably Carolyn or whomever mm -hmm. else, will start looking at, okay, here's how this job should be rated. It's going to be based on a point system. And the points will translate into money, if you will. And... At the same time, there'll be a survey done locally in terms of the labor market. So if the consultant says that all of a sudden I should be getting, you know, a bajillion dollars, that doesn't mean I'm going to get it. That means that the consultant now is going to go out and do a labor market yeah. survey to find out, okay, so what is this guy who works in the Board mm -hmm. of Health, what do the other towns pay this person? So that it's kind of... Somewhat okay, level. but that doesn't involve us, the three of us. Not yet, but it involves Ben, it involves Roxanne, it right. involves me. So and that's why I make, make mm -hmm. you guys aware of it, because you guys will be brought into it by Carolyn or Jen or whomever. So just, you know, you guys need to be aware that this is going on. Yep. Because potentially what will happen is that going forward, you know, for fiscal 2025, you know, next July, not this July, but next July, the budget could be yeah. could be different, I think, might not be different. I don't know. I think it'll be a pro probably a, what I'm thinking, at least what I've experienced in other settings, is like a progressive increase of rate adjustments. Yeah. So, 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 right, yeah. So, so, so David, j just to make you aware of that. Um, 
the the other three items that I have, um, I need you to sign a timesheet. Uh, I want to talk to you about the PH, PHE grant Zoom that's going on next week. Oh, right. So I think, you know, the consortium. So they have a meeting like once a month. <clears throat> I've been going to them, but I... It's not a high value proposition for me, the meeting. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't know, I was thinking Ben could go mm. on it, but, I mean, uh, Peter, but, or we could just pass on it. I, I feel like we should have some presence there, but honestly, it's not where I want us to be focusing. I, well, no, it's just, it, it's not. So I, I sat in um, <coughs> that was, yeah. a, a meeting, whatever, three, four weeks ago, whatever mm -hmm. it was, mm -hmm. and they talked about uh, the content um, that we supplied. It was like October, November. You know, they're asking us, you know, about resources, staffing, what do you do, what don't right. you do. Right, yeah, I remember doing yeah, that. Yeah, you filled it out. So basically what happened was we didn't get additional funding. Um, I think you're right. We didn't um, get additional funding because I but, wanted them to start doing, helping us out with inspections. Right. And it's not going to, it's not happening. Well, so, so <laughs> that, that last meeting that I attended, again, they went over the results, the survey results mm -hmm. as a, as a group. They didn't name names. So Hadley said this, Hatfield said this, yeah. blah, blah, blah. They didn't do yeah. that. But it was more like, okay, here's the median, here's the average, here's the totality. Yeah. Uh, but what they were talking about at the last meeting was possibly sharing resources across towns. Well, that's what and again, they're going for. As soon as they started talking about that, I said, okay, now I'm not in the right church because uh, I don't have any authority <laughs> when it comes to that. So... This next meeting, I don't can I you, just say uh, though, the thing is, at these meetings, there's no board of health member on there. They're all employees, board of health employees. Do you have right. the one hour a month to go on to that meeting? I, I do, um, and that's fine. I will, but I have often the, the first meeting I went to. A lot of it, I don't know what they were talking mm -hmm. about. I, I, I had no context. So, because, because except for working with this board right. of health, here's here's I what the no uh, idea. here's what the consortium is providing us now. It's you know this is the state has invested a large amount of money to regionalize public health services. Right. What's been regionalized for us is infectious disease tracing, mm -hmm. uh, COVID, but COVID, nobody's doing that COVID trace. But you know if somebody there's an outbreak of a foodborne illness. Mm -hmm. Now, they have a nurse, an epidemiologist, who we don't need to do that. They do that. They enter it into the state system, Maven. So that's off our plate. Um, they offer, you know, vaccine clinics. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll, I told Roxanne to reach out to them. They'll do a flu sh clinic here. Um, and, uh, you know, they go around and doing educational things mm -hmm. on Lyme disease. I mean... It's all great. So, but you know, it's just there, you don't. There's nothing for you to. When I go to those meetings, I'm just. I just listen. I don't. We don't have any needs right now that they're going to be able to meet. Our, our so, needs are in areas that are different from the services that they're providing. Yeah. So if I so, if I attend these meetings, what? What exactly do you want me to do? Do you want me yeah. to take notes? For me, because, no. because, because the first one I went to, which was the last yeah, meeting, you don't, I was the first one that was called on. You, you don't. And I, I don't even know what to say. Sure. <laughs> and yeah. you can introduce yourself. I mean, yeah. and like I said, right. they're not, a lot of them are not, they're not healthcare professionals. Um, and they're, they're staff from the local board of health. So it's not like you're, "Quote unquote," a fish out of water. There, you're you're really not. And well, the so the last meeting, they were directors. There were health directors, you know, like uh, Meredith from 
Northampton. Northampton. She was right. on this. She's um, not a board of health member. She's an employee. She's a health right. director of the health. No, I understand that. Right. And, you know, if Ben gets approved for the full time, I, I would mm -hmm. shift to him. Mm -hmm. He would be the person to start attending mm -hmm. those once yeah. a month. And, 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 and I would agree. <clears throat> Again, it, and I can sit in. I, I don't mind yeah, sitting, just, sitting just in the Zoom meeting for just an hour. A, but, just be a placeholder for us. But it's... It, but I have absolutely no context in terms of yeah, sure. what am I supposed to say. Yeah, no, you don't have to say anything. <laughs> okay. All right. So anyway, so the next meeting is next so, thank you, Peter. Wednesday. I'll, I'll I sit just realized that it's, it's not for me. Um, and so the next meeting, when will the next meeting be? Wait, I don't really look at my calendar. I think, I think we were looking at um, once a month, so that would make it the May, uh, the first Thursday, May 4th. Yeah, town May, May the 4th, I'm oh, with you. Town meeting. It is town meeting, but that's May 18th fun. is the town meeting? No, May 4th. 4th. We about, could, what about the 11th? Uh, yes. Well, we could do the 11th. Mm -hmm. Okay, May 11th. When is the election? 16th. 15th? Yeah. A Monday? Uh, it should be a Tuesday. Uh, 16th, 16th is a okay. Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. And town meeting is May 4th. Four. Four. May 4th. Four. Okay. And then the forum before town meeting is the 27th. What's the forum? Where they go over the warrants and okay. people can listen right. and if they want anyway, more information. Uh, so we should end the meeting if anybody, unless anybody has any more business.